What's going on guys? What's up? Welcome to another video. So today we will finally be getting the winners for the 8080 giveaway that I was doing in my last video. Sorry it took so long. Um, it's just a mixture of being extremely busy in the last week and then also uh, this week having bad weather. And you can also see, I don't know if you can see the background right now, but it is pretty dark and it's supposed to rain any minute now. I just finished work, so I finished, figured, sorry, figured I would get this video out for you guys because like I said, it's been two weeks, I'm trying to upload weekly. Um, I do have the dead cat on the mic right now. Hopefully that's helping uh, cut out some of this wind because I can tell it is extremely windy. I like it, but it's not good for my videos because the mic will pick it up. Um, another thing, you might see the dead cat kind of flop into the camera every once in a while. So you might see a little bit of fuzzy uh, gray at the top of the video. So I apologize for that. I mean, there's not much I can do. It's the wind. Um, also, it's a pretty big dead cat for the small little mic. So it uh, kind of hangs into the video there. But anyways, let's get on to what the video is today. Um, it's going to be another installation video of this little part right here, which is not necessarily the easiest thing to get on. You never know, you know. But I'm going to get this done, and then at the end of the videos, I will tell you who the winners are for the bag from 8080, the hat with the keychain, and then the shirt. Um, so I'm going to take you up front now. I'm going to show you what parts we need to install this. This is a Boomba Super WRX 15 Plus oil cap. I've been looking for something that's not super expensive because it's not something that's really necessary. It's more for aesthetics, right? So I didn't really want to spend a hundred bucks like I spend on other stuff. So it is made by Boomba, um, obviously, and it's just red, has the little oil symbol here, and then it says Boomba and Boomba on it. So it's nothing too special. Um, I don't know, I'm assuming this is aluminum. It's pretty light. I don't know, I don't think it says. No, oh, there's a nice sounding car around the corner there. But yeah, anyway, so let me bring you up front. I'll show you the tools we're gonna need and then we're gonna get this thing installed. Okay guys, so the tools we're gonna need are a flashlight. You never know. Could come in good handy to get in there and actually see what's going on. Um, another thing that is necessary are gonna be some needle nose pliers. Uh, these are pistol grip ones. They're really good because they get you to go into tight places. Um, a hammer. You'll see why after. A measuring tape. Just because you need to know how big uh, your new oil cap is going to be. Um, it helps. I'll explain it after too. It, explain, it helps uh, to decide how much oil you have to put into the filter afterwards. You have to prop it up a little bit more if the oil cap is too big. Um, a knife. You might have to shave down parts of it, so get yourself a good uh, knife. This one is a Mastercraft. I've been using it for a while and it's never broken on me. The blade is still extremely sharp and it's fun to be able to switch it out like that. Um, you need a T20 Torx screwdriver. Um, don't get a T18, it might fit, but the T20 just fits in there just even better. So get the T20, that's what you're gonna need. I think I've got everything. I can't remember if I said the vice grips. Uh, this is only if needed, um, but these are torque locks. So you really don't want to lose any torque once you've swapped out your uh, oil cap. So these ones make sure that it locks in the torque into the engine. Um, there's no torque that escapes once you've stocked, swapped out the stock uh, oil cap. And then obviously you need a um, oil cap of your choice. So I took the Boomba because I want more, my engine to go boom more and make more explosions and uh, faster speeds. And I figured that would help the turbo spool up quicker and then more power, right? So, I mean, who doesn't like more power? So I'm going to get the, I'll move you guys closer actually. Maybe that's probably the best idea. So right down here is the stock oil filter, uh, oil filter. Here's the oil filter. And here is the oil cap. Um, I mean, it's not bad. When I did my first oil change, it was a pain in the ass actually to get off. Um, so might have to do, I should have brought a saw or something maybe to cut it out. But anyway, so I'm gonna try and twist that off now. Cold, it's, it's freaking bending instead. Ah, 
I'm gonna have to use the torque locks, I think. I don't wanna lose any torque, so this is probably the best time to use it. Oh, it's spinning. Almost there. There we go, okay. So now that guarantees we won't lose any torque. Get this out. That's no good, it's plastic. Loses torque. This Boomba one is gonna go in here. Look at that. And then you tighten it down. Do not lose any of the power. That's even better. Okay guys, so there we have it. We have our new Boomba Bomb. That's what we're gonna call it. Oil cap. Uh, we're not losing any power in this engine anymore. Everything is perfect. Um, clearly I needed all those tools. I mean, that's, that's what you'll need. So if you guys are going to change your uh, oil cap, make sure you watch this video and uh, get all those tools ready. If you don't have them, um, get them. I don't know if I remember, I don't think I said this. Yes, the, uh, the, the panel removal tool, that's good because it helps you get under it if you need to and pry it up. Uh, you never know, right? So there we have it. Install, done. Okay guys, so that's our video for today. I hope you guys had some laughs. Um, here's the part that you guys are probably all here for though. Um, I have the winners, I've chosen them already. Uh, three winners, it works out perfectly that um, my first two winners specified what they wanted and they were totally different. And uh, then the last one kind of just gets the prize that's left, right? So Jesse Trudeau, you get the hat and the key tag. Ryan Rivera, you get the bag with all the goodies inside of it. And Gary Webb, you get the GTR shirt. So message me here, let me know your address, I'll get that shipped out to you. Once again, thank you 8080 for giving me the stuff to give away. I mean, I really appreciate it. You guys didn't have to do that. Um, like I said in my last video, it just shows what kind of company you guys are and that you go behind uh, your clients and customers. And I really appreciate the shout out you guys gave me on your Facebook. Um, that helped this video get a few more views, or the last video, sorry. Um, if not, the giveaway would have had like three or four people. I posted it in a lot of groups, but I mean, it's hard to get views nowadays. So I really appreciate that. Um, I just noticed that my dead cat is hanging down like crazy, so it's probably blocking all of your view. I am so sorry. I hope you guys can at least hear me. That'll be at least the important part. Um, there we go. I don't know, just lift it up a bit. I really don't know what's going on with that. Anyways, so I got that fixed for next video, but that's it for this video. Like I said, I hope you guys had a good laugh with uh, showing you guys the tools that you obviously don't need. All you need is your hand to change an oil filter. Or oil filter, sometimes you'll need to loosen it up with tools. Uh, but usually for an oil cap, all you'll need is your hands. I honestly actually did need those uh, grips. That thing was tight on there. Like I was trying to get a good spin on it and it wouldn't go. I don't know. It's been like that before too. Like I said, when I did my oil change, it was the same thing. I had to get grips to spin it. I thought that I didn't tighten it that much when I put it back on, but clearly I did. Anyways, um, ending it off on that note, just so you guys know, I will be doing more car videos soon um, on a car that's not even a Subaru. I have some fun things coming for that. So you guys can stay tuned for that um i do have car videos like installations for this car that i haven't posted yet uh just because i'm trying to get out uh some other key features and videos first so please stay tuned more videos are coming i know i should have posted last week i could have posted stuff that i had kind of just at home already ready but i just didn't have time to edit it all together and post it and i didn't want to post another video um before posting like the giveaway because everybody would be wondering like what's happening uh you know you said you're going to do the giveaway on your next video and you didn't do it and it'd just be awkward to add in another video at the end of that video so many videos um sorry add in another video at the end of that video saying uh, here's the winners right so stuff is coming please subscribe stay in touch you'll you'll, you'll see what's going on you guys will enjoy it so Peace out. See you guys in the next video. Thank you for staying tuned. Thank you for checking out this video. And if you're one of the winners, get at me and I'm going to get you those prizes as soon as possible. Thank you. See you guys next time.